Hey, I'm Caleb Wojcik from DIY Video Guy, and this is the third video about why I like using Premiere Pro, a video editing piece of software from Adobe. So in the other two, I talked about dynamic linking and other features of Premiere, but this one I wanna talk about Creative Cloud and what that means when you're a member of Adobe, Adobe's Creative Cloud and some of the perks that you get. So let's jump into look at you know what kind of options there are for pricing with uh, Creative Cloud and then why specifically I like this feature in Premiere and what it allows me to do on multiple computers. So let's go into uh, the Creative Cloud website. If you go there, you can see some tutorials and some reasons why and a free trial for using Premiere Pro. But the best part is that everything is really connected. So whatever computer you're on, you can log in and use your Adobe suite on there. And you can have two active at a time. So if you have more than that, you're gonna have to log out of one computer and then log into another one. So you have just two main ones that you're using concurrently. But this is really helpful because all my apps are up to date on all my computers. You get continuous updates all the time. So when they come out with CC 2014 or CC 2015, or when they eventually come out with 2016 and 17 and 18, it's gonna be updated. And since you're paying monthly or you're paying annually, you get all those updates and you never have to worry about paying to upgrade your software because you're just paying each month and you can get those updates automatically. You can also get access to Adobe Stock images and videos, as well as they have mobile apps that work really well uh, with Lightroom or with Premiere. Premiere Clip is pretty cool to start and edit on your phone of stuff that you've shot, and then you can bring it into Premiere on the desktop and keep working. So those are a few reasons why I like it. Let's look at the pricing really quick. They have a bunch of different kinds of plans. Individual is the one that I'm on because I really only have two main computers. Photographers get a decent price because that's only Photoshop and Lightroom, and that's at $10 a month, whereas the individual one's at about $50 a month, unless there's some sort of sale going on, or you own a previous version of some sort of Adobe product, like a Creative Suite three through six. Usually if you put in a serial number for those, you'll get a discount. So for my first year, I had a discount because I owned Premiere Pro CS6. So Right now it's around Black Friday and they're doing a $40 a month option for all of the apps for individuals. But then there's also student and teacher pricing, which I believe is around $20 a month instead of the 50. Then they have pricing for businesses and schools and governments and stuff, but you'll probably fall into either the individual or the student category. Now there are a couple ways to pay. You can pay monthly, which is usually a little bit higher. You can sign up for an annual plan and pay it all at once or an annual plan and pay it monthly. And that's much cheaper than going month to month, just like signing a lease on an apartment or a condo would be. It's cheaper if you commit to a full period of time, like a year, and then you can uh, knock off a little bit from your monthly cost. So now that we've talked about Creative Cloud and what that is, and you know, you get you get Photoshop and Lightroom and Premiere and After Effects and SpeedGrade and all the Adobe products that you'd want to use to do photo work, design work, video work, anything really. So why I love Creative Cloud specifically for Premiere, let me hop over to Premiere now, is because of how you can sync between your computers. So one thing that I've done is I will start working on one computer, put my project files on a hard drive, I can plug that into another computer and just keep working and I can bring things over like keyboard shortcuts. I can bring things over like the layouts and workspaces like I talked about in the previous video. And it's just like I'm still working on my same computer even though it's a completely different device. So if you go into Premiere Pro settings and go to preferences, right below that is your email address and you can choose to sync your settings. So you can see I haven't synced mine since June 22nd. I'm gonna go ahead and sync that now. It'll have you authenticate your account. So you put in your email, you put in your correct email and password, skip that part, and then it will sync your settings. So it's syncing things like keyboard shortcuts, it's syncing things like 
um, your workspace layout. And it's doing this with other apps as well, not just Premiere. It's going to do it with Audition or After Effects or any of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite that you want to use. And you can choose whether or not to keep your local settings and, or, or actually upload the settings you have on this computer. I'm going to go ahead and upload the settings that I have on this laptop because this is one of my main computers put those up in the cloud, and then I can go over to my desktop computer and I can download these settings here. They'll both be in sync. Keyboard shortcuts will both be the same. So once this is done, you can go into your settings and you can say manage sync settings. And there you're actually able to choose what it is you want. So your settings, which are things like your audio hardware and label colors and all the default things and appearance. So those are things that I would definitely transfer over so that however you've set up the programs look the same, as well as the workspace layouts, which you can get to by going to Window and then Workspace, which we talked about in the previous video. And you can also do keyboard shortcuts, which are huge because I make custom keyboard shortcuts all the time. I've made a detailed video about all the Premiere Pro shortcuts that I like to use a lot, and I'll link that up right now in this video. But specifically, it's really important to carry your keyboard shortcuts over to a different computer so that it's not set to default or anything like that. So this is just one tiny reason why I like using Premiere Pro. There are others. I've made videos before. I'm going to make a couple more about why I like using Premiere. But if you're using Premiere and a Creative Cloud, definitely use this syncing feature so that you can have the same settings on all your computers you use. And when you go to sit down and work on a project on another computer and it's just sitting on a hard drive and you plug it in, you can do so. And this is really great because I can actually, if I'm at someone else's computer or I'm on set for a shoot somewhere and I don't have my laptop with me, I could log in with my Creative Cloud account and download my settings and I would have all my keyboard shortcuts, all the layouts, and I could work on that computer just like it was mine, which is, is huge. It saves a lot of time if you're working on another device. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new to Premiere Pro or you just want to learn a little bit more about it, I have a Premiere Pro 101 course that you can get to by going to DIYvideoguy.com slash Premiere 101. And that'll take you through an introduction to Premiere, everything from importing footage, syncing it up, doing multicam, the workspaces and layouts and how those work, as well as exporting settings, an introduction to color correcting, and more. So you can check that out at DIYvideoguy.com slash Premiere 101 and hope to see you inside that course. Otherwise, just uh, use Premiere. It's awesome. I like it. I'm not being paid to say that. I used Final Cut Pro for a few years and now I use Premiere and I'm glad I switched. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in another one.